She is one of Australia's most successful sporting stars. Yeah, we loved her for her tennis. And now, Yelena Dokic has set herself another challenge. Yelena Dokic is determined, daring and fiercely competitive. Her love of tennis began at just eight years of age. How good do you think you can be? I'll just to play in first ten in the world. The top ten in the world, yep. eventually? Yep. Just a few years later, she caused one of the biggest upsets in tennis history. At just 16 years of age, she was the wild card at Wimbledon in 1999. What happened next was incredible. She beat then world number one, Martina Hingis. Beating Hingis probably uh, still is in my head thinking, well, did that really happen? Despite personal battles with her father, her career continued to go from strength to strength ultimately climbing the ranks to number four. She does it! But after retirement in 2014, her life changed. Out of routine, Yelena's weight climbed to 120 kilos. She is determined, though, to reach her goals, and now she's celebrating a brand new achievement, an incredible body transformation. Well, we are very pleased to say Yelena Dokic joins us now in the studio. Good morning to you. Good morning. Um, you, you, of course, as we all know, are a household name. You've mm -hmm. been in the spotlight for many, many years. I think your tennis career started at about the age of six. Mm -hmm. um, just give us a little bit of a perspective of what it's like to, to go from having such a high profile mm -hmm. and very regimented life mm -hmm. to then stepping away from it. Oh, it's very difficult. It's something that um, a lot of athletes um, struggle with and, and I did as well when I retired and especially because I retired because of injury and I wasn't even 30 yet. So that was very difficult on me and tennis is all I ever really knew. Um, and on top of that, obviously had my struggles both on and off the court, which I've been very open about in my book as well. So it was hard to retire and uh, yeah, I, I lost my way and really struggled um, with what I was going to do and with my confidence and what was next. Yeah, and it's hard when you, as you say, it is that structure that you have, mm -hmm. tennis is with you and it's been your focus and your drive for so many years. But you have been an inspiration on the court, but also off it with what you've been doing with your you know, weight loss, getting yourself back in, into gear. How have you been going about doing it? Yeah, I've been um, on a bit of a weight loss journey um, the last uh, 12 months and I've been doing it with um, Jenny Craig and their Rapid Results program, uh, which has been um, incredible and they've, they've helped me lose a lot of weight. But it's, it's more than that. It's been about getting um, healthy and getting fit again because at one stage um, I couldn't do the things that I'm used to doing and mm. that I really love doing, like running and even playing tennis just for myself. So um, it was time to kind of take control um, of the whole situation in my life and they've really helped me do that. So you, you'd blown up to, was it 120 kilos? Yes, yeah. I mean that's a, that's heavy for someone of your stature. Yeah, absolutely. I, I gained a lot of weight and, and again I was very open about that. That yeah. wasn't easy um, to talk about that as well, especially publicly. So um, And it affected your confidence, didn't it? Absolutely. And, and again, I've talked about that as well because at times I turned down work and I didn't go out of the house because I was just really, um, you know, feeling very conscious about that. No confidence and even, even had anxiety about it. So, wow. yeah, it was um, really kind of time to take control of that. My book really helped me a lot because yeah. it really... Um, writing the book. Yeah, writing the book and getting a lot of those obviously private things out there. And it's, it inspired a lot of people, inspired a lot of women. And I thought, well, why not do another thing and mm. do the same thing and try and help them? Because there, there are, you know, people and especially women struggling with this as well. Yeah. So hopefully I can inspire them to do the same. Good for you. So many are struggling with it and yeah. your story is, is nothing short of inspirational. Um, along with all of that, of course, you are part of Nine's commentary mm -hmm. team for the Australian Open yeah. and, um, well, we're excited. <laughs> um, I know this that they're suggesting this Open is going to be bigger and better than every, mm. anything. Yeah. Um, Ash Barty, yeah. what are your thoughts? Oh, look, incredible. What she's done and to, to win a Grand Slam and be world number one is incredible. And obviously, it will be so great to see her do do well in Australia and win the Australian Open as well. Mm. But I'm um, really excited about the Australian Open again. I had so much fun this year and covering it, obviously. Um, for it nine. was really cool, wasn't it? It was, it was yeah. wonderful, yeah. And we did, um, you know, a lot of, other than just commentary, we did a lot of other stuff and a lot of different pieces and, and, and player profiles, which was really exciting and something new. So I'm really looking forward to it this year. There's a lot of new things coming so I'm really excited. And what should we expect from the show that you're working on to Cross Court mm -hmm. because that was fabulous to, mm -hmm. to actually as you say not just 
talk about the tennis, mm -hmm. but talk about the lives that go mm -hmm. on behind the tennis players. A bit like yourself, learning a bit more about the people behind the racket. Yeah, absolutely. I love that the, the new show, and, and um, it's something that um, I think is great to have an actual tennis show, but it's also a bit of a mixture of tennis and lifestyle. So it's not just results. So mm. we profile a lot of different players, a lot of different events, um, and talk about you know the news in the world of tennis and something um, that people haven't really seen before. So um, yeah, it's been really exciting to start the whole project, be a part of it, film, um, and do it around different locations in Melbourne. And I think people are really going to love it. You are shining, Yelena Dokic. It's Thank so you. lovely to see you. Thank You're you looking so ridiculously well, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's fabulous to see. Appreciate it. Well done. Thank you. See you at the tennis. Yeah.